you've got to ask questions. You've got to know what's going on in your body. And I tell all of my friends and anybody I meet to do that. My name is Gloria Stevens. I live in Jacksonville, Florida. The most important thing that I've done since dialysis is to get myself to every day do something. I am very much involved with my Delta Sigma Theta sorority, my church, and other organizations, and I go to their meetings and functions on a regular basis. I went to the University of South Florida. My major was speech English theater. Once I got that theater bug in me, I said to myself, okay, no matter where I go or what I do, I'll always start a theater group. Currently, I'm working with young children through my volunteer work. I'm going to read this book to you today. Tell me, who lives in a pond? Is it a giraffe? No. Is it a frog? A frog. Yes. 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 Rabbit? All right. Okay. My name is Elena White, and I've known Gloria all my life. My mom often tells a story about how Gloria would rub her wound. Uh, and say, uh, that's my baby. Mm -hmm. And Uncle is a mentor, is such a survivor of many things. My brother, a physician of internal medicine, always cautioned me about my weight. And in spite of being extremely active, I was also extremely overweight. I developed blood pressure problems at an early age. Several years later, I ended up with diabetes. I realized my kidneys were failing when I began to swell. Now, I lost 50 pounds, so I'm thinking, oh, kidneys, don't fail me now. I'm trying to do the right thing. However, it was too little too late. I think it was a tremendous adjustment for her to go on dialysis. Uh, your routine changes. Uh, you have to incorporate uh, a lot of different things mentally, emotionally, physically. And so she's trying to make sure that she still has an integral role in people's lives, but also taking out time for herself. I drive myself to dialysis and then start my day with those wonderful, beautiful people that, who are at my center. They've got good spirits, and they keep you encouraged. I stay on my time. I try to remember. I've got to use the full time that I'm here. I try not to miss any treatments. If you don't let negative things turn you around, you'll be successful. Emotionally, I make sure that I keep my hands in the hands of my family members. I have nephews and nieces and best friends who all support me. But the person who I think gives me the greatest amount of encouragement is a little seven-year-old niece named Kendall. Her grandniece is connected to her hip. <laughs> she goes wherever uh, Aunt Glow goes, and uh, again, Aunt Glow supports her while she's in school, going to the various activities that she's involved in. We have so much fun together, dancing, playing ball. Once we went outside and we flew a kite, and she sang the song about the kite flying high in the air. Oh, that, that was something to keep me alive, to give me energy for another 25 years. It's wonderful when you have a little person, especially, in your heart and in your life to keep you going, to keep you going.